Right everyone, i am um, just come down a very rocky pathway as you can see and slippery in places and very muddy in places I've um, got my old boots on which do leak a bit but not too bad at the moment and it's not freezing cold Anyway, I did this walk in re oh, not completely in reverse I didn't come back up this way I went down that way and climbed up the gorge the other side on the south side a couple of months ago I came down here and uh, we've just walked about 2.7 kilometres following the route I've just done and now we're at Black Rock and here's the woods that I'll be climbing up the top of them in a minute and going towards the llama field. Anyone who's with me is now long gone. They're all long gone now. They'll be climbing up that side. Unless they're going round. There is a walk round to Piney Slights, of course. Style there. I don't know where that goes. It's an old style though. I don't know where it goes. Anyway, this is Black Rock. Now I've, I've known this when it's been like a river. And big trenches, deep trenches, mud, rocks. They do tend to maintain it a lot more now. Uh, and it used to be quite a difficult walk because it was so rocky and bumpy. A bit like that path I just came down. Rocky and bumpy. Anyway, it's the 10th of December. This is probably the third video. So I've come along the north side of the gorge, taken a few sort of images with a broken camera really. Um, I don't know what the video is going to be like, but I've got, I can't do any settings on it. Most of the camera is just hanging on, just hanging on for me. And I'll be going through a gate in a minute, here, and climbing up. I came down it the other week to avoid the cows that were all gathering in the field up there. Um, I couldn't see any cows earlier when I looked over. I've taken several pictures of these trees from a distance. <sighs> it is quite a steep climb up, but I'm going to do it. I think it's this one. Yeah, it will be this one. And that takes you, if you go up there, it takes you to Velvet Bottom and Longwood. Longwood is supposed to be closed for the winter. Don't know when they're starting because they're doing a lot of pruning up there of the ash dieback. And other stuff. So here we go. This is one of the nature trails. I don't think I've ever seen anyone on it. Remembering that all round here was was a mining area for and limestone kiln area and you have little markers. This is marker number eight. A lot of people finish here. So maybe they go all up round Longwood up there and then back down here. I don't know. But uh, when I came the other week there were cows. That was churned right up down there where the big herd had been you know because it is like a drove they probably use it to load the cows in when they get them off the hills oh a bit of a branch fallen here I expect they'll be doing some pruning here as well but at the moment they've put no signs up but this wasn't down when I came last well it might have been I might have climbed over this before Yes, yeah, possible. Looks like it's been down a while, doesn't it? So I'm going up there. Now when I came down the other, about three weeks ago, it was autumn proper. And there were all the ambers and yellows and greens. And rusty colours. All gone now, but there's some beautiful trees up here which have obviously lost them, lost their leaves now. So I'll be climbing all the way up here, one of a very few hills that I've got to climb now, this one. I'm going down a big hill later, 
and then I'll be climbing up a little bit as I enter Middle Down Nature Reserve and keeping my fingers crossed there are no cows there. Also I'll be going down Middle Down Drove to pick up the West Mendip Way to take me to Little Bradley. Now, the last time I was at Little Bradley, also about a month ago, there were lots of cows and I had to turn back and take an alternative route, which ended up just being a little bit of exploring. I didn't do a lot that day. So today I'm keeping my fingers crossed because there's not a lot of room, time-wise and light-wise, to do too many diversions today. But I have seen cows out. Despite those two big storms, which mainly hit the north of the country, the farmers, it costs them less to leave the cows out, see? Especially if the grass is still growing, because it's mild. This is mild, believe me. This is nothing like winter. The last, it's been over the last two years, I'd say, that this has been going on. It has been going on, but to be very, very evident that it's going on. I've seen a lot of labels on bushes as well lately. Blue ones there, white and... I don't know what that's about. I'm going to turn off, take some photos. You don't want to hear me huffing and puffing. Now look, there's a stake there. I would imagine they're going to be pruning around here very shortly. So it's probably a good time and a good job that I've decided to come today because the workmen, the foresters are on the gorge. You can't go down the gorge area anyway today. You'll have to go down an alternative route. But seeing that marker and the tags on the trees, I think they'll be coming here very soon and in the wood at the top there. This is quite a steep climb, but I'm glad of the steps. So I came, I came through that wood a minute ago from the gorge. Over and out everyone. Over right and out then, everyone. I've managed to climb up nearly up the top. Right over there, in the distance, you've got piney slights. You've got Robert Warren trees right in the distance, right over there. See those spiky trees? That's Robert Warren, which I've done a couple of times this year. I'm making the most of this walk, folks, because um, because of the COVID and the new coronavirus, Omicron. We've got um, Plan B restrictions in place, coming into place, which means you, you have to wear masks in lots of places. You, I've had to get my COVID pass, which you get only if you've had the boosters or you're exempt. I, I, that took me quite a bit of working out yesterday, getting that sorted. Um, So here's a lovely view, and right over there, right over there we've got the aerials. One of my reference points.
This is a nice little hobbit walk through the hobbit wood. It's one of the nature trails. It's my terminology. It's not what they call it, the officials. It's, uh, I thought I just would come through here to avoid a, mass, a big quagmire of mud. Um, I came through here in the opposite direction about three weeks ago. And I said I would come back in three weeks or a month. The cows have been taken out of here. There's no cows all, all over that way. So I'm just keeping my fingers crossed <laughs> that they've taken the one out. The ones out with the bull near Cheddar where I've got to go as part of my walk back. Uh, like I said, if it got the weather went berserk or started going too crazy now I, uh, I would take a shortcut home I'd have to cross the Cheddar Road down the bottom and then head down not all the gorge you're not allowed to go on the gorge at the moment but if it stays the rain stays off and there's no cows I would do the, the walk I've planned for today <laughs> 